have a pair of shoes that could use a little sprucing up. In today's video, I'll show you how to glam them up by recreating these pumps from Mock and Mock that's adorned in their signature crystal bow accent. For this tutorial, I'm using an old pair of heels. I wanted the front to be all black to make the crystal trims pop, so I painted them using acrylic paint, then sealed it with Mod Podge to add a little sheen. Before we jump in, here are all the supplies you'll need. Starting with the front, take one end of your trim and mark off a half inch. From there, run the trim along the edge of your shoe to determine how much you'll need. Mark where it meets the outsole, then add another half inch and cut. Next, remove the layer of rhinestones below the half inch markings to expose the rope that makes up the core of the trim. Then take your pliers and try to flatten the rope as best as you can. Once you've done that, grab your tweezers and open up a little room between the outsole to insert the trim. Do this on both sides. Now dab a drop of glue on one end of the rope, then use your tweezers to insert it between the outsole. Apply a little pressure to close the gap and keep it in place. Continue gluing the rest of the trim, working in sections. Add a clothespin to hold the trim as you go along. Once you've reached the other end, do the same as before, dabbing it with glue and inserting it between the outsole. Next, remove all the clothespins and make any necessary adjustments. If the trim does get pinched, you can try reshaping it and it should even out on its own. Afterwards, you can add a few clothespins back to hold the trim in place as it sits. While we wait for the glue to dry, let's work on the accent pieces. For the bow, you'll need a piece of trim, about 20 inches long, and both your needles and threads to start. Grab your trim and make a loop about two and a quarter inches wide. Take your needle and thread and pass the needle through the core of the trim. Then wrap the thread a few times around the ends of the loop to secure them in place. Leaving the thread intact, make another loop overlapping the ends in the center. Check to make sure the loops are around the same size, then take the thread and make a few more wraps in the center to secure it in place. Afterwards, make another set of loops a little larger than the first set, then wrap the center once more to complete the double bow. Now take the leather strip and wrap it snugly around the center, overlapping the ends on the flatter side of the bow, which will now be the back. Then cut to remove the excess. Next, place the back down on a flat surface while holding the strip in place. Then use the button shank to make an indent on the front of the strip where it'll be attached. Before attaching the button, go ahead and remove the shank by taking your pliers and twisting it or rocking it back and forth until it comes off. This is done so the button will lay flat against the strip. Using the clear thread, I attach the buttons in the same way you would a four hole button by sewing through the holes surrounding the center rhinestone. I chose to sew mine on, but you could glue them on if you prefer or if your button has no holes. To finish, I made a knot in the back to secure the thread. Wrap the strip around the center once more, then grab the needle and thread, which you should still have attached to the bow, and sew the strip in place. And now our bow is complete. 
you just have one more to go. Quick tip, you could add shoe clips to make the bows removable for an instant way to glam up your shoes. You could stop here, but I want to quickly show you how I recreated the double ankle straps. My trim came with these end caps for covering up the raw ends. So I modified one to conceal the ends of the double strap and keep them together. To do that, I first flattened it, then cut it in half. I then bent it back into shape with my pliers, making it more squared to make room for the two rows of trim. Taking both ends of my trim, I sandwiched it between the partial end caps, then closed it onto the trim to secure it in place. To attach it to my shoe, I closed the buckle so I could figure out the placement. Using clear thread, I sewed the trim onto the strap. My shoe material was soft enough where I could get through the first layer with ease, so that's something you may want to test out before and... When sewing the trim, I first secured them at the end cap, then whip stitched just the top row until I got to the end of the shoe strap. From there, I included the second row, giving it a little slack, so it drapes and gives the appearance of a second strap. Afterwards, I secured them together once more, then went a step further and twisted the rows together to make them even more fancy. I continued with stitching them to the back of my shoe until I got around to the other side, where I cut the trim and added the other half of the end cap. Now for the final step, the icing on the cake. This part is easy, simply dab a little glue to the back of the bow and hold it in place for a few seconds. Just make sure the bow is centered and sits flush up against the edge trim. And we are done. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know, is this a project you would attempt? If you loved this video, check out the one on the screen coming right up and I'll be seeing you next time.